The prospect of shelling and a fresh fighting between Croatia and Bosnian Serbs has scared off any tourists who might have come to Dubrovnik. Businesses are closed and public meetings banned. But despite the military build-up nearby and the continuing fighting in Western Bosnia, there's cautious optimism that a negotiated peace is closer. Assistant Secretary of State Richard Holbrook came to Zagreb to outline a peace plan being put forward by the United States. It was one of several meetings Holbrook's having with the various regional leaders in this latest effort to achieve a negotiated settlement. The details of the plan remain secret, but it almost certainly involves some kind of carve-up of Bosnia into Serb and Croat spheres of influence. The US plan probably has a sweetener for the Bosnians. The American delegation outlined our views on the current crisis as stressing our belief, the belief of President Clinton, that the situation requires a dramatic step forward. The first small step came with hints from Radovan Karadzic that the Bosnian Serbs were ready not just to talk, but to be flexible. He will allow the US Bosnian Foreign Minister Mohamed Sakabi also seemed pleased after his meeting with Holbrook earlier in the day. But the diplomatic moves meant little to the hundreds of Croatian refugees expelled from Serb-held Banja Luka, the process of ethnic cleansing speeded up by the Croat capture of Krajina. Even those talking peace aren't safe. The vehicle carrying the Spanish foreign minister took four bullets as it sped from Sarajevo airport. <laughs> 